Alina Rabakina versus Jasmine Paolini is the fourth quarter final for the Ladies French Open for 2024. Both players have had different roads to get to this stage. Paolini entered the tournament as the number 12 seed. We'll take on Saville in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straights. 6-3-6-4. Second round, she'd take on the lucky loser, Baptist. And after a close second set, would get through in straight. 6-4-7-6. Third round, she'd take on Andrescu, who had just beaten Kellen Skyer in the previous round. And after splitting the first two sets, Pellini ran away with a third. 6-1-3-6-6, love. In the fourth round, she'd take on Avanesian, who had taken out Zhang, the seventh seed in the previous round. And again, after splitting the first two sets, Pellini would run away with a third. 4-6-6, love, 6-1, to advance to the quarterfinal. We're back in her into the tournament as the number four seed. And we'll take on Minin in the first round. There's no problem getting through in straight. 6 2 Six, three. In the second round, she take on Rus. Again, no problem for Rabakina getting through in straight. 6 3 6 4. Third round, she take on the 25th seed Merton. But again, Rabakina too strong, getting through in straight. 6 4 6 2. Fourth round, she take on the 15th seed Svetlina, a lady who had beaten her in the bronze medal match at the Olympics three years ago. But this time it was Rabakina getting the easy win. 6 4 6 3 to advance to the quarterfinal. These two have played three times before with Rabakina leading 2 1 in the head to head, which included a match in Stuttgart at the start of the clay court season. Three set epic where Pellini did have chances, so if we get anything like that, this should be a banger. If Pellini's going to win this one, he's going to be super defensive and get everything back that she can and also be tenacious like she always is. She's one of the quickest players on tour and she's also one of the most fiery players on tour as well. So she needs to use all that to get the crowd maybe on her side as the underdog. If Rebecca's going to win this one, she needs to use her big strength like she's been doing against everybody else this week and overpower Pellini. Also use the variety that she seems to have gotten with the drop shots and also the volleys and that kind of thing just to kind of like keep Pellini off guard and a little bit unpredictable. Really interesting matchup. I think this one could be an absolute banger. It's the hardest test so far for Rebecca, but I still reckon she wins in three sets and beats Pellini, makes the semifinals of the French Open, and maybe meets Sabalenka in that semifinal. Who knows? But let me know in the comments below who's making the semis.